Hey there, welcome back. My name is here and we have RuneScape Dragon Wild now on the screen. And yes, it has launched uh, just a few days ago and there is already a lot of complaints about the graphics. So this is the topic for today. At the end of the video, you will know what to and how to do to at least boost the game to the point how you want it to look because there are limitations. Limitations are simple. Um, if you have been in the game itself, you know that in the settings, you don't have the usual choices. You have only quality. It just changes everything, starting from uh, uh, ambient non collusion and, and post processing and distance and everything. It just controls by one setting, which is annoying as hell. And I'm going to show you what can you do. And yes, I set it frame limit only for this video. So, and DLSS quality mode so I can show you what I did. So, the outcome. All right, let's open the video. I'm gonna show you what you will see. To be fair, actually, I can show you right away. It doesn't matter. So, um, what can you do? You can open up um, what it's called, the, the settings, and find the engine file. It's under your at the data, local, Dragon's Wild, saved, config, windows. All this will be in the description. You don't need to remember from the screen. Just copy from the description. There is a line where the file is, engine ini. And when you find it, you will find a lot of things. And my advice is to have these lines below. Everything that is above should be generated whenever you launch the first time game. So it's all there. Just add these lines. Also in the description, just copy, paste, and it's simple, you can read what it does. It just disables atmosphere. That's a garbage. Uh, goes over the screen, makes everything blurry. Fog, everything in the distance is blue. Uh, and then the view distance scale adjusted to three. Uh, force LOD, uh, just forcing everything to be displayed. Um, the scales and of course shadows as well. And this is the problem for, for a while, for a for this particular game. I'm gonna show you why. So every time how I came to conclusion that these actually work is launching the game, standing on this wall, aiming here and taking a screenshot. Then going in the settings, closing the game, adding one more line, adding number one, two, zero, one, two, three, either disabling or enabling something, coming back and seeing if anything changed. If nothing changed, there's pointless, as simple as that. And also in the corner, yeah, I currently have limited 60 FPS, but you will see in all the images that I have taken for comparison, uh, what's the frame rate, right? For that, we don't need any more game. Uh, we're gonna jump in a further. Uh, in the discussions in, under the Steam, you can find such topic that boosts your FPS and everything. And there's a little problem with this. A guy or whoever wrote this or copied from probably Reddit, how they usually do it. Uh, no one has tested it. Most of these settings don't simply work. It's just pure garbage. You add line zero, one or whatever. Nothing changes in the game. Nothing. And exactly the same is for everything under uh, game user settings. It's the game. I don't know who coded and how it's coded. As you can see, it's by default. By default, you will generate something with everything with the trees. So that's third setting in the, that's usually how other games do it. But here, nothing changes. Like zero should mean that you disable reflection quality. There's no reflections whatsoever. None of these settings are actually loaded in. Uh, they're absolutely ignored. So all this is just pure nonsense and half of this is nonsense. So. If you want to, you can add, there's no harm. There's just no point of doing that. Why? Because I have tested them. Let me show you. I have 75 screenshots adding line by line. And if something sticks, I leave it and then add more. So yes, uh, but let's start with the basics. You can actually close the video and go and upgrade your, your any file and just already have it, but a little bit more there, uh, more, more to it is probably needs to be explained. So this is the baseline having DLSS quality mode. So there is no penalty hit or anything from that. And frames per second locked 
locked, well, the highest that the game allows to set. I never reach it, so it doesn't matter as well. And all settings in order. I'm going to show you. I know this is a picture, but very low, low, medium, high, epic. Three things you need to notice here. I'm going to go backwards so you'll notice. One is the castle, uh, how it looks, uh, how, how precise the lines are, and the, those trees in the background. This is the two biggest problems. The third will be the tower, but we'll get to that in a moment. Of course, you can see a lot of effects are added. There's um, feeling, the vibe, the, the colors, the lens flare, the, the post-processing, everything added. If you go backwards with the high, little to no difference, but from high to medium, this is where immediately you see the castle changes and all those trees in the background lose their graphical fidelity and shadows, and you can do nothing about it. And the furthermore, uh, the low and very low have exactly the same, so just the overall effects are removed. So in a sense, first three settings are in one group where you will have yeah, not so precise uh, geometry and shadows in a distance. And high and epic will have them, but there's another problem. Uh, I know it's a video and it's hard to see. I had it zoom, but it doesn't help a lot. But this tower, pay attention that you can see every single brick. You can see that there are uh, triangles. You see the, uh, the fidelity of the tower. When I go upwards with medium, it somehow meds, gets blurrier. When you go, that was low actually. This is medium. It gets blurrier and blurrier with the high it's it's all mess and with epic it's yeah you can see that uh, that the, there is something but it's absolutely i don't like this smearing whatsoever right so my goal was to disable it and the only way you can remove this smeared effect is having very low div, um, graphic setting I know it has another downside. There's um, less uh, shadows and everything, and everything. But it's the only way how you don't have this game as a smeary mess that everyone is complaining. So most likely, you know, it's it's other way around. The, the the more graphics settings you improve, the graphics got worse. And not even that. Pay attention to frames per second. It's very low. I have doesn't doesn't matter what kind of system I have it, but the the different. 128 and when i'm going to epic my computer can produce only yeah this is epic 59 i'm barely on static image have 60 so it means my computer can't even draw it so you lose all the frames per second down to the bare minimum and you have smeared image boom why would you do that you don't do that so advice first have very low second is in the settings i showed you settings yes you can add these and i'm going to show you what they do in a moment and you can have improved a little bit this this uh, very low settings so i'm going to skip a lot of these because i tested also dlra and uh, no film grain each and every sing single uh, line they do not nothing and today i restarted whole process and this is the baseline, right? So this is how it looks with very low DLSS quality, uh, 140 frames per second. And I added one line that removes atmosphere. There's a little improvement in this area, uh, which I kept in the setting, that's why it's in the line. Then I removed the fog. This is the biggest change. Remove fog, you see all the bluish shit in the background removed. So it's already step forward. And then there's, there's more, there's more. I pressed, tested the distance scale three, allowed shadows, contact shadows, distance. As you can see, almost nothing changes. The only thing that changes is the shadow line because the sun is keep moving in the game. So there's no change. And then I tested if I can remove this uh, distance of uh, field. What's the, I forgot already all the namings. But yeah, the force and everything and, and everything. And there's one particular I found. You see these spikes coming out of the trees. If you look closer, every tree becomes basically one huge spike that goes through. 
and it also the oh, the branches are lo lost and it was not precise there was one line where this forced forced uh, cannot be one it should be three i think that was the line that's why i kept it but anyways uh foliage oh the random set of that i found somewhere in the internet probably the one uh set and all of them you know tested the hell out of it let's skip to the best part the outcome yeah the fresh the fresh yes this is the one sorry i'm closing so i'm not mixing up so this is the final where i have no atmosphere no fog distance scale three force lod d3 foliage lod distance scale three lod shadow one shadow distance scale one and fresh just fresh screenshot because exact same i have tested previously already working so this is the outcome this is why i have tested and this is what you see in the background in the screen with very low settings this is the kicker i thought hey this is already no fog whatsoever so maybe if i increase the graphics maybe it doesn't screw it up well it does so you see straight away from very low i'm skipping the low to medium the tower immediately gets blurred and no uh, uh depth of field uh, settings can impact and change and remove it tested yeah shit and you can see that there's improvement in the um, shadow area for sure i oh, sorry wrong side so yes you can run with the medium if you think you are okay with this smeariness and but at least improved shadow and then even, even further you can run with the high settings even better shadows even more sm smeared tower and the trees in the background have this setting still no fog still no atmosphere still draw distance uh, settings everything is there but that's the outcome that's the only thing how you can run it let me see yeah i went back i said no sorry yeah i added uh the, the same settings and said no i will play the game with this but even further remember my wild claims this is not working and probably the guy is already typing an angry comment you know what i took the settings and i applied let me show you let me show you what's the outcome so this is my what i am suggesting you to run and wrong windows so this is the user settings when i added these advised user settings i can switch between the images you tell me if you see any difference uh yes the sun is in a position a little bit different and this uh it seems like the shadows are a little bit moving but overall nothing there is no change whatsoever and by the way in my view there is a little bit more sun getting on this uh, here because i didn't remove the settings he had some wild user settings some zero something something i don't know if that changed or just the sun is not there but overall exact same settings uh, there is improvement in frames per second that's that's for sure something in the background works something but the outcome the shadows the, the the everything that is zero and four and something they have no visually effect on this yes a little bit yellowish or even less yellowish yes that is something we can find well i prefer where the metal has some reflections maybe the reflection one of one line works i didn't pick one by one i just pasted everything and even further user settings sorry extra so all the extra that was at the top with uh blur quality well that's in motion but uh volumetric flow lens flare everything uh i don't i don't use all of them i didn't advise that still tested little to no difference and to be fair i can compare his user settings so this is a yeah it gets a bit less even more loses color here or something uh and has even worse frames per second so what i'm saying is these settings doesn't make any sense most of them don't work and it's bull pure bullshit because you're still tied to the game settings that's the pure outcome 
And you know what? Just because you are patiently watching 14 minutes, I'm going to give you one last thing uh, I keep on track. This is my settings that game use. This is the copied ini file just at one point. And I pasted, tested in a bunch of trying to find maybe depth of field works. Maybe, you know, some distance works. Maybe this works. Tested nothing. And basically here I gathered everything that is uh, not working. Or, yeah, Not working. The lines that do nothing when you add them. And at the bottom, yes, the working ones that I kept and, and showing you. And also this scalability I tested. But that's not why we are here. We are here for these particular lines. Um, a little background. Quick. Yes, yes, I googled because it's Unreal Engine. It's all these lines. Uh, one of the most best I found was this one document. I, can, I will link it for you, uh, curious kittens as well. Unreal Engine console variables because you can find the ones that are working also are in this list. So I went through with the shadows, with the foliage, with the tree, with the mesh, with the distance, just finding maybe some of these lines will work. Yes, it means going through 200 entries in the line. Yes, uh, try to get them and, and, and figure out what's working. Um, yeah, a lot of things, a lot of things there should be better documentation for this. And the outcome is they not only not work, but this one, remember? Remember how I, I'm trying to get these trees in the background to be with the shadows and a little bit better because this this um, fidelity is not acceptable. It's, it's too bad. And what I came to, to understand is this one foliage force LOD uh, zero disables it so it forces everything or one just you know testing it crashes the game entirely if you put this line in that should enable or disable this thing that could potentially fix it it just crashes you can run this with uh, parameter 3 which if I understand correctly how it works if the game engine takes zero for disabled and one for enabled and that's it there is no other parameter if you add three, four, five, or 500 or whatever parameter that is not valid, it just ignores the line. So in a sense, adding this line allows it to be there, not crash the game, but also does nothing. Because uh, going through the, a lot of forums, I found that having it zero, it kind of disables. I'm not going to... Uh, Try to explain something I don't fully understand myself uh, because I tested the zero and one, you know, just to see the difference. If suddenly those trees in the background work, crash immediately the game upon the not upon loading uh, in the game, but when you load the save game where you actually the engine needs to work with this, it just crashes out. So, as long as this is the case and they don't improve it, we are. A little bit doomed so overall you have the settings you know where to change that in the description find everything but we are still at the mercy of jagex ltd whoever decided to run with these silly uh graphic settings where you just change one thing when they allow us to properly work with the each individual settings and and and, and the force lod and all that this is it. This is the best I can offer. This is the best I'm giving to you. Use it if you want. You can bump up a little bit and have the smear. I said it already too many times. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm game is pretty fun. That's not the topic about here. Um, now I'm trying to find and fix those damn settings. So here you go. If you have questions or even a slight less idea how we can get these background trees and shadows working without crashing. Please, 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 please let me know if any of you know how Unreal Engine can be tweaked and or bypassed or whatnot. And we'll meet in other videos. Thank you for watching. Uh, over and out. And cheers.